What up, internet? I'm gonna try to make this video again. I'm gonna try to do it in a professional, clean way. Um, because every time I've made it, I just, I curse too much. I, don't, I, I want it to come across in the correct way. I'm not trying to make enemies. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm not trying to incite violence or, or talk shit. I'm just really trying to make a video with a, with a point. Everybody's watched what's going on with this, uh, this Officer Baloney. Officer Baloney head, like I like to call him. Typical pig. Um, again, not trying to be angry, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of seeing cops just abuse their position. All right. Number one, we pay your salary, okay? My, there's a portion of my paycheck that goes to support the police in this area. And everybody that, you know, works has, can say the same thing. We pay your salary. Okay, that's number one. Number two, we're tired of being abused. Okay, I know you guys are probably tired of being abused, but guess what? You're in a tough profession. You chose to be a police officer, and it's it's my understanding that if you know if I was a police officer, I would really be furious at officers like this guy, Officer Baloney Head, and like the other officers that do such terrible shit with their you know when they have a badge and a gun and they're responsible for you know, kind of take watching over society. You know, you guys really, the, the police have to understand. You are perceived a certain way in society. And when you do things like this, when you spray girls in the face with mace, when they're trying to peacefully protest because you're unable to handle the stress of a certain situation, you're in the wrong profession. Okay? Police officers need to be stable individuals uh, of sound mind that can kind of watch over everybody. And they need to also have an ability to understand certain situations and be empathetic to certain situations. Now, I don't know what kind of test you guys take to become police officers or what. I've heard from different people, but I don't know for sure. Um, you know, I know a, a few cops. Um, they're good guys for the most part. Uh, I, I don't, you know... I'm not there, you know, I don't have any family members that are police officers, but I do know a couple really good cops that I respect a great deal because of, you know, the way they are and, and how they, they understand, you know, the, the gravity of the job that they have and how they're perceived by society. And, um, you know, basically what I'm trying to get across with this video is that you guys got to really stop with this whole just violence shit against people who don't deserve it because everybody's got cameras now you know like I have a camera everywhere I go and I'm gonna tell you right now I'm gonna film every single cop that I see doing something wrong for the rest of my life and I'm gonna make a 100% effort to make that public so that injustice is handled because as a police officer you guys have to understand we don't have any defense against dirty, corrupt, evil, violent, disgusting police officers, okay? And there are a lot of them sprinkled in amongst the core of good police officers, okay? So you guys have guns, badges that will allow you to basically just get away with whatever you want, tasers, nightsticks, you know, nice, fancy, expensive uniforms, and, you know, you're in society amongst us, and, you know, it's becoming more and more of a thing where people are afraid of you. And, you know, I don't know if that's what your your end goal is. Like, if you guys want everybody to just be scared of you, you know. But that's not really good for you. Because, you see, there's a lot more people in society than there are cops. And when people mobilize and are, are, pe are scared for their life, they're going to lash out. That's what people do. It's the same thing that you guys do. You lash out when you get, in a, you know, boxed in. You feel threatened or scared. And there's a way to handle that like adults and solve the problem rather than regressing into childlike behavior and just lashing out and hurting people because you know you, you can get away with it. So, you know, I, I'm trying to make this video so people understand that, you know, as a citizen, I feel it's my civic duty to record the events that I see and I would highly recommend that other citizens of this country do the same thing. Not be violent, not attack any police, not say anything negative to them. I would be extra cordial. I always am extra respectful, extra polite, but at the same time, if you fuck with me, I'm gonna fuck with you back. I'm gonna do it in the legal way where I can go to, go to court and hold my chin up and say, this is what happened, I got it on video, and this is my, my take on it. You know, I, I, 
I do not break the law. I go to work every day. I pay my bills. I pay my mortgage. I pay everything I'm supposed to pay. I help people out. I do everything I'm supposed to do. All right. But I see a lot of police officers who are abusing their jobs and it's got to stop. It's got to stop if society is going to survive. And I'm asking police to really understand the responsibility that they have. All right, you guys are already getting a, you know a nice salary. You make a living. You know you really should try to be a little bit cooler with society because then you'd have more society have your back. You know, right now you guys are kind of regressing into this like this just mob of of like assholes that can just get away with whatever they want, and that's the attitude that you have, and that's not good, man. You know, I I don't. I just don't understand where you guys are coming from. All right, you know that's that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I just I don't I want to really just make that point that you know we as a citizen I don't really know what to do as far as this whole thing. You know, I mean I, I would prefer just not to be around cops at all because you know there's this whole negative connotation to them now. They they're just bullies. That's what you guys are being perceived as in life right now. Just just complete complete bullies. You know it's a uh, it's not good, man. We don't want to deal with that. You know, people don't want to deal with that, especially if we're paying your salary. You know, we want to be able to see you in, in, in the store and, and say, hello, how you doing, sir? You know, without you looking at us like we're a criminal already and, and you know, with your hand on your gun, with your, you know, your aviator glasses on. I mean, that shit's just got to stop. You know, you guys, you, you got to try to be a little bit more of a positive force in society. You know, and the more evil and negative things you do, it's just going to circulate and come back to you. That's all I can all I can really say. You know, and one other thing I wanted to mention in this video that I would like everybody to sign the petition that is in the drop down. Um, you know, I got an, an article in my email this morning. Um, basically, it went on to say uh, in Oklahoma there is a uh, a Judge Davis who, who sentenced a woman over 31 grams of pot or no no it wasn't even 31 grams it was 31 dollars worth of pot which is big i don't even that's like uh t you know two grams of weed enough to roll maybe a couple joints this woman was sentenced to 10 years in prison over this now for the life of me i cannot understand the point of these laws i cannot understand what this does other than ruin another person's life in this country and i welcome anyone that views this video to explain to me how this is justifiable in any way at all okay and we are spending a lot of money first off to have the to have the police go and arrest this woman you know it was an undercover cop that that you know caught or whatever you know we're paying this money for this guy to go undercover to do this you know fucking sorry this crime you know crime investigation stuff you know he's really preventing a lot of crime getting this 31 dollars worth of pot off the streets it's laughable it's a laughable thing at this point as far as i'm concerned um you know we are spending money as tax paying citizens for this undercover cop to receive his salary to to go undercover to try and arrest a woman who's probably poor you know she doesn't have a job you know you, you maybe could always oh, she's because she's selling drugs yeah all right well whatever there's a lot of people in this country that don't have a job right now and uh you know pot is not the enemy it's not the, the thing that's causing any type of problem in society it is a it is such a gigantic gargantuan industry that is never going to go away ever it has been used by people for the last 3,000 years plus of humanity. It's been illegal in America for just over 70. So, you know, you guys really need to just revisit the way that this is all going down because it's not working. And you're making a mockery of the country. You're making a mockery of the judicial system. You're just, it's just screwing everything up. And I am tired of contributing to this. I do not want my money to contribute to these things anymore. Okay? And if you feel the same way, then you, people need to start standing up and saying enough is enough. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. You know, this is not some woman who had a meth lab in her house that was, you know, hurting a bunch of people. That's not the case here. You know, this is, this woman needs to be removed from prison immediately immediately along with all of the other people who were in prison as a result of ridiculous 
laws in this country. The police that were taking these things should be ashamed of themselves. Flat out ashamed of themselves, as should all of the judges who are still prosecuting people for small amounts of any amounts of marijuana because it's it's nonsense okay it's nonsense we all know deep down that this is nonsense and in order for it to change we all have to band together and stop this police included you guys know what you're doing you know you can only say I'm just doing my job for so long it's got to stop so I would welcome any responses to this video. Please share this video with people who you think need to see it because there's a lot of people in this country that need to see it. You know, I, I don't like to be the guy that says this kind of stuff, you know, kind of puts the spotlight on me. But again, that's another reason why I've stopped smoking weed and why I'm going to just exit it out of my life for a while so I can go full bore into trying to stop this shit because I'm tired of it, okay? I'm a grown ass man, I pay my taxes, I do everything I'm supposed to do, and I'm tired of this. It's gotta stop. These are innocent people that are rotting in prison as a result of your corrupt bullshit laws. So, I think it's about time that we need to revisit these things and maybe make some adult decisions. Please remember to sign the petition in, uh, in the drop down so we can maybe see if we can get this woman out of prison, okay? Um, you know, always remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you support the channel. Thumb the video up. And as I said, please share it with whoever you think needs to see it. Peace.